Hello everyone, I welcome you back again to our uh, Road to Academies course uh, Crest for IMGs, a comprehensive guide. Uh, if you have seen all the lessons before, uh, you must have already gained a lot of um, information regarding um, how we can go about doing the things that you need to do uh, to one, get your cash from signed, two, uh, get your portfolio stronger for your training application, three, to get required uh, CPDs for your annual appraisal, four, just to be a better doctor in the UK. So uh, all the things that we have discussed in this uh, course so far, even though the term we used is like, you know, the crest for IMGs, but not all of them has to be a mandatory thing to be done to get your crest from site. If you remember correctly, if you've seen the first two of the videos, I remember saying that in order to get the crest from site, it mainly depends upon the consultant where you, who you are working under. If the consultant is happy the Chris Prom signed without looking at the evidence and the consultant trusts you, then you necessarily don't have to do all of the things that you talked about. But the thing is, you actually have to because all the things that we've talked about in this course as lessons basically improves your portfolio to give you an edge in your training application. So you're actually achieving three things at the same time. You are achieving the evidences to provide uh, to support uh, the signing of your crest form. You are actually enriching your portfolio by doing all the things that we talked about. We talked about uh, teaching, we talked about attending teaching sessions, we talked about doing QIP, we talked about doing taster weeks and all the other stuff. So all those things combined together of everything that you are going to do uh, uh, when you start your training. So this uh, lesson is one of the, I would say, one of the most important lesson of the entire course is knowing about a website which is a massive website for containing more than 150 e-learning modules of different specialties and it's, 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 it's the biggest, one of the biggest project uh, by, I think it's Health Education of England, uh, but we'll see. So what, what we want, I want to start is how to find it. Go to Google, your friend search for ELFH, stands for e-learning for healthcare, and this is the portal which will open here. As you can see, I'm not logged in here, but you'll have to register. So if you are not working in the UK, uh, most likely you will not be able to register because to register, you'll need a work email, um, uh, and your work email with an NHS.net uh, will give you access to the doctor stuff that you need to get done. So uh, it, obviously wait until you get your NHS.net email and, and open um, a, a, an account with this ELFH. So let's just log in here quickly. So this is the, the home for the ELFH. So what, what I do and what I did when you when you landed on this ELFH it's so vast and it, it's it's um, so uh, various people can use this so to help you guide what you need to do I take help from the United um, UK FPO website they have an FP curriculum resource guide which is like this which actually have talked about different online resources according to the foundation professional uh, capabilities, this FPC. So if you see, if we link on this, professional behavior is uh, handling complaints. There we go. This is the, the course, uh, Not it's an e-learning module uh, which uh, has been, uh, there's a description and if you play it, let's see how it goes, it opens a new window and uh, it just slides from one slide to another and you read what are the learning objectives are and what uh, what it will talk about in the foundation program curriculum and um, select here for answer then you will read this is all just teaching uh, different things uh, about uh, the whole uh, topic that has been given there so what will happen at the end of finishing this when you read and 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 think about what what are being taught here you will be given a certificate. So you can use the certificate to put in your portfolio 
uh, if you have a paper portfolio you can print out the certificate and put it in your portfolio but if you have Horus portfolio you can actually uh, link your Horus portfolio to ELFH and uh, map the direct you don't have to do anything and it, you can actually map it so if I remember correctly if it's curriculum it's a ELFH it also has see all the other things from this uh, resource that we did it's in here you can click on them and you can map the evidences to this one so the doctor uh, the consultant who will be looking at see I have done all of the LFH related to different um, evidences and the consultant could see that yes I have done uh, the ELFH teaching and um, he was he was more than happy uh, and you can see I mapped here at case-based discussion and teaching others and I mapped as I've to told previously the CBDs can be one CBD can be mapped to different um, objects of your foundation capabilities so that's ELFH uh, it's it's a very very enriched uh, e-learning uh, platform I'm sure that if you spend your time here uh, you, you will learn a lot that's the first thing and also it will help you to understand what a foundation doctor uh, is expected to know and what a foundation doctor is expected to uh, behave like uh, and uh, uh, yeah it takes a bit of time to finish all this ELFH Modules the foundation doctor if you click here you will see actually how many do they have um, Yep, so it's it's all based on the section see well, this section will have uh, X professionally will have some and if you go back then Yep, so Definitely definitely invest your time on doing these modules for e-learning for healthcare at least to have uh, enough to map against most of the foundational capabilities in a Horacy portfolio. If you don't have Horacy portfolio, do this, print out the certificate and attach in your um, uh, uh, paper portfolio to show to your consultant that you have done all of this. So next lesson we're going to discuss uh, about what other sites and what other resources you can use to e-learning. Thank you. Mm -hmm.